absolutely in shock. Got goosebumps all over, man. I can't believe what I've just seen. Not even seen what I've heard on the radio, what the result is. Man City 2, Crystal Palace 2. Two away goals at the Yeti. We've done that before, haven't we, for Christ's sake? Unbelievable. I can't believe what I've just heard. It is, it's, it's, me it's mental, the more that I think about it. To not even be in the game, you know, for basically what <laughs> most of the match and in the last 15 minutes we shone we got them we got out of our own half you know we hit them on the counter-attack and we got two goals in that as well our only two attempts on goal on target and that and we scored them both and we got at a top crucial point at the Etihad causing problems away <laughs> at Manchester City yet again honestly typical Palace man losing to the likes of Bournemouth Luton and Everton and then you go and get a crucial point from coming 2-0 coming from 2-0 down against Manchester City to draw 2-2 at the Etihad typical in it unbelievable man I mean I literally was looking at at the score on Soccer Saturday when it went 2-0 and you know we're poor in the first half and poor in the early stages of the second half I was like yeah game over it's going to be 3, 4, 5 or 6 to be fair but then when we got back in the game I was like okay who knows maybe maybe we, maybe a comeback is on then I went to funny enough I went to the toilet I get a text with my dad and then he was like with us, he just always said me was a smiley face I was like there's no way we have made it 2-2 I'd be absolutely shocked honestly I was just I was just I had goosebumps I was just nervous I was just like do I just have a look or do I not? And then it was 2-2 right at the depth. And I was just like, we've done it. We've gotten a crucial point. I couldn't believe my eyes what I was seeing. Michael Lee said with the penalty. The penalty, by the way, the composure, the confidence, you know, was unbelievable. It takes a lot of balls and a lot of gut to take a penalty later on, especially aware that yeah, he had one of the toughest stadiums to go and play at um, over the last year. They haven't lost at home. Manchester City don't forget in over a year and that as well. So to get a 2 or draw is phenomenal. It's a great achievement in that as well. The credit to all the Palace fans that went, by the way. Credit to all you lot, man. You know, obviously I didn't go because I thought we were going to get absolutely hammered. I wasn't feeling it. Be honest, I just didn't want to go, you know. And um, it's a big L for me, man. It's a big L, you know. I've been to all the Premier League games this season apart from the Newcastle away game and now obviously the Man City one today as well. You know, for me not going, I kind of regret it now because I wish I was there just to enjoy and be a part of the Palace limbs and the Palace faithful, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm gutted, man. I'll definitely be at the Brighton game. Don't you worry. But listen, um, yeah, tactically, I mean, <laughs> I think we just showed a bit of spirit, really. We just came out of our own half because we were parking the bus too deep for the majority of the match. And we just hit them on the counter and Man City didn't know, didn't, couldn't really deal with the likes of Elise Mateta, Franco when he came on, I saw a clip of him doing some insane dribbling, running at the players and that as well. I want to see more of him. Ozo came on for Ward, apparently he's really good. Ozo's got to be in the squad and he's got to be starting, whether it's in defence as right back or as a CDM, because I think he's miles better than some of the CDMs we got in Jara Riedervall and obviously Schlupp. And to be fair, Schlupp, you got to credit him, he was one of our better players, you know what I mean? Did well for the Mateta goal and that to get us back in the game. His hold up players running this pass and that picking John Philip Mateta out, you know. So, yeah, I, I'd say my man of the match for me, Mateta, you know, he won the penalty and he scored one of the crucial goals to get us back in the game. So, credit to him. Two and two in that as well. Seems to be hitting some good form for once. Seems to be looking like the old John Philip Mateta, which I'm pleased about in that as well. But, yeah, um, I, I just, I'm, I'm just absolutely pleased, you know, just something positive because it's been a pure month of misery so far this December. And obviously over the last few weeks and that as well, it's not been good enough, man, honestly. So I'm happy. Am I still Royale? Well, well, well <laughs> you'll know after the Brighton game, depending on the result. You know, I mean, it kind of puts the paper over the cracks, really, in some aspects. But this one, I mean, to be fair, we deserved it. And yes, we didn't play well. Yes, we only had two attempts of goal throughout the whole game. I get that. But to get a two or draw to score twice away at the Etihad is a phenomenal achievement, like I said. And it's a blessing. It's a God's blessing, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm absolutely pleased and grateful, man. So move on to the Brighton match. I can't wait for that. Um, I think the highlight as well was Roy Hodgson. If you've seen it all over on social media, TikTok, Twitter, all of that, even on my Instagram story, laughing at Pep when the penalty got given. I mean, as much as I'm not his biggest fan right now, I mean, that was, that, that, did, that did put a smile on my face, to be fair. That did kind of cheer me up a little too, to be fair, regarding, you know, how Palace has been over the last month or so. So, yeah, I think it, it's pleased everyone in that as well. I just can't believe it. I'm just in shock. It's, it's, it, I mean, what a result. What a result. You know, this is a proper instant reaction. I'm still in shock, as you can tell by this, you know, by my, <laughs> by the look on my face and how joyed up I am about it, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, credit to the players, man. Massive result. Massive point. And, yeah, um, see you lot for the Brighton game, man. I can't wait for that. I've got a few stuff planned for that. So, yeah, not the Palace, man. Come on, you Eagles. And bring on... 
the Brighton match, man. Massive game. Can't wait. Great result. And, oh, yeah, City, there's no way to win the title after dropping points to a team like us, to be honest with you. So, yeah, <laughs> I bet if you want to ask a Liverpool fan, you should be thankful what we did for you lot today because <laughs> I don't think any other team would have had the courage to come from 2-0 down to get it back to 2-2 away at Manchester City. Unbelievable stuff, man. Up the Palace.